Hopkins is an amazing university and Homewood is a beautiful campus. But what many students don't know is how much the city of Baltimore has to offer. I'm Lucy. And I'm Noah. We're students at the Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland. And we're here to help you learn, learn more, more, see more, be more. more. We're here in front of Mason Hall, home to Johns Hopkins University's Office of Undergraduate Admissions. Today we're going to be traveling around Baltimore, showing you all the great modes of transportation you can use to get around the city. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Zip cars are located in a number of convenient campus locations. Using a special card known as a zip card, students simply swipe at the door and find the keys inside. Students can reserve a zip car online or by phone 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Zip cars are an easy and affordable way to get around Charm City. The MARC train is a cheap and easy commuter rail that goes all over Maryland and into D.C. And Amtrak is the national inner city passenger train service. I actually take the Amtrak from right here in Penn Station every time I go home to New York. And Noah rides the MARC train to get back to the airport for his flights home to Texas. Yep, that's right. Braxton, he's an announcer here at Baltimore's Penn Station. Now boarding through King Larry Diaz and Echo Track 7 for the 1243 original service train of 143 and route to Washington. What's your favorite part about working for Amtrak? Uh, probably would be dealing with the people. You can have one that mess up your day, and then you got <laughs> the other ones that just come, especially the kids. Like us, like yeah. we like make you, your day yeah. wonderful. Baltimore's Penn Station right in front of the cab line. All the Baltimore cab drivers are so nice. One of them's here right now. He's going to take us for a ride. <laughs> Amad, we're coming in. <laughs> Hi. We're actually going to come in and go to the Inner Harbor. Bus offers cheap and non-stop service to New York, Boston, Philly, and D.C. And the limited number of seats on the bus are available for only one dollar. That's right, so if you get your ticket early enough, you can bolt for a buck. But don't worry, <laughs> even if you wait until the last minute, you'll never pay more than twenty-five dollars. The JHMI shuttle is the primary means by which students and employees of the university get from Charles Village to Peabody and the medical campus. The shuttle's free and it first stops at Penn Station and then continues on to the schools of music, medicine, and public health. I take the shuttle every day to my job as an undergraduate research assistant at the School of Medicine. And I've taken the shuttle a number of times to get to the Walters Art Museum in Mount Vernon. The Charm City Circulator is a free and environmentally friendly bus service that shuttles Baltimore students, tourists, and residents around the city. The Circulator reduces congestion and greenhouse gas emissions by offering a convenient, reliable, and eco-friendly form of public transportation. The College Town Shuttle stops at seven colleges and universities in the Baltimore area, including Towson, Loyola, and Micah. Using nothing more than a school ID, at Hopkins we use our J-Cards. Students can ride the shuttle for free, accompanied by up to two guests. The shuttle stop is centrally located on campus, directly across the street from Charles Common. The College Town Shuttle is particularly useful for Hopkins students who want to go watch our teams play at nearby schools. And for our friends at Loyola and Towson who want to come hang out with us. We're waiting by the beach to take the Blue Jay Shuttle to the Rotunda, where we're going to watch a movie. We hope you have as much fun exploring Baltimore as we have. Safe travels. And join us next time to learn more, see more, be, be more. more.